I just brought the does in to shave them and I think they have lice. We ended up culling two of our hens because they had water belly. Goats were born. <laughs> this, this just happened. All right. Okay, you guys, so a few weeks ago, we put a deposit down on a larger stock goat. We want one goat that will give us just a little bit more milk. We are getting a Nubian Alpine cross. She's just a baby, but we get to pick her up. Can't wait to have one bigger girl in the mix to give us lots of milk. We have a couple of people interested in goat milk, so we want to make sure we have plenty for us and potentially for a few people as well. Pepper, who's that? It's a friend. <coughs> Pepper, who's that? It's a friend. Who's that, Leia? That's your new friend. It's pretty slippery. Yeah. Hi, Leia. We are getting ready for kidding. Ethel and Lucy are ready to kid in about, about 10 days. So I am going to attempt their first shave in preparation. We're going on baby watch this next week. So they ultimately can give birth anytime. Um, we have our baby monitor and they are getting grain uh, mixed with some alfalfa pellets, about a cup of it. Uh, every day on the stand, we've been working with touching their udder and just getting them used to just um, touch in that area because they do not like it at first at all. Uh, we have one that sits and that is a hard habit to break. Not good. Um, Laverne just does not want us to touch her at all down there or even walk around behind her. So we've been really working with her and um, we even have some animal crackers and she'll like spit out her animal crackers and still run from us. So we've really got to work with Laverne. The other two girls, they're um, much easier going and they've gotten used to it pretty fast. So Ethel and Lucy should be pretty easy when it comes to shaving them. I don't think Laverne is going to do so well. Good girl, Ethel. She is the best one. Good girl, Ethel. Is there a goat out right now? Sounds like they're right out. Good girl. Yep. 
Okay. Nice. This is what Laverne does. She lays on the stand, but it's allowing me to do her shave. So I just brought the does in to shave them. And I think they have lice. I think they have lice. It looks like dry skin. I need to research it more. Um, I've talked to one of my mentors and she says it's the season, but oh, I don't want lice. It's time to kid and I don't want to deal with treating the whole herd. And I definitely don't want to treat the does right when they're ready to kid. Unfortunately, our local feed store did not carry a product that was safe for soon to be lactating does. In the meantime, we went ahead and dusted the entire herd with diatomaceous earth and laid a strong foundation of it along the floor line, hoping to keep it at bay until the correct product comes in and we can treat the whole herd. Luckily, goat lice is species specific and will not thrive or transfer to humans. We have been dealing with a little bit of the non-fun stuff with farming. We ended up culling two of our hens because they had water belly, which is, I believe it's also called ascitis. And it's basically like heart failure or hypertension, um, high blood pressure for chickens. It causes their bellies to swell up and then put pressure on all the organs and ultimately it will cause death. And it started moving pretty rapidly and they also had become egg eaters. So we've been dealing with egg eating issues as well. We've been finding yolk all over our nesting boxes and we've been having a hard time trying to pinpoint who was the egg eater, but I did catch two of the ones doing it and they were both the chickens with the water belly. So Chris just culled them and we also, at the same time, we rehomed Uhtred, who was our big rooster. He had just gotten super aggressive and he attacked Chris and the kids could not come in to the chicken run at all. So it was just something we had to do. It was best for the farm. So we no longer have a rooster. Not to say we'll never have another one, but I don't think there's any real reason to have one. In our situation, we have a fully enclosed run that is predator proof. So we really don't need a rooster services. Goats were born. Oh my gosh. There's the placenta. We need to get them out of here. Let's go put them in the... Pepper, come on. Pepper, come on. How many do we have? Two. What? Does she still have another one in there? Okay. Oh, oh my gosh. This just happened. Videoing. Good mamas. What a good mama. I don't know. I haven't had a chance to look yet. Here's your towel. She's being a good mama. We got this little one already knowing where to go. He's looking for some milk. Good job, Ethel. Not yet.
I hear more babies. Oh my gosh. We missed it again. Good job, mama. All right, we got Ethel and her two babes switched over into this barn. They are nice and cozy under the light. <laughs> Good girl, Lucy. What a good mama. Good job, mama. Figure it out. And Ethel is not okay. Oh, okay. They'll figure it out. We have so much to learn from nature and animals, lessons in motherhood in particular. The instincts of a mother are strong, they are fierce and protective. A mother teaches its young how to survive and thrive. If there's one thing I want my children to understand, it's that life is beautifully chaotic. It's full of trials and uncomfortable situations, but I will forever encourage them to live big live bold, and life will teach them exactly what it's supposed to. Love is all that matters. <laughs> 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 <laughs>